There we go. What's up? Okay. Here we are again. Just doing a little McDonald's. Just a little lunch fest. Oh, let me see. There we go. It's kind of weird. Let me see. There, that's a little better. You're so tiny. Maybe I should sit on that side. <laughs> I guess I feel big. <laughs> that's why I'm eating the Big Mac. Lay down. And Junior's like, hey, I'm, I'm eating something, too. <laughs> Lola's over there sleeping. So, yeah, I got, I'm all weird. You know they ain't got root beer at McDonald's now? Wow. Hot mustard, honey mustard, and sweet and sour. I always put them on the top of the nugget thing. Anyways, <laughs> so, this video, besides doing this, eating thing okay i'm gonna ask these in the beginning of the video since when i ask them towards the ending of the video they don't seem to get answered so my first question i've been asking is like i said before if y'all got any questions for us just let me know and if you know you can go to the hatter house live journal or not live journal oh my god how old am i i'm showing my age i don't know man. <laughs> facebook i could have said my space e the live journals even before my space. Um, <laughs> Hatter House 420 on Facebook. The link will be below. And ask any questions if you don't feel comfortable asking it in the comments. Feel free to like the page. Um, feel free to go to my Facebook and add me. I don't know how he feels about random ads. Like I said before though, if you're a weird creepy guy, you will get blocked. <laughs> you could be a weird creepy guy. Just don't be weird and creepy with me. <laughs> I already got my creep. <laughs> Anyways. Junior's like, I like nuggets. So. <clears throat> look, I'm Trisha Pietis. Eating my nuggets dry. Okay. What I was going to say. Longer or shorter videos? What do you guys like better? And, um. Throw me out some ideals for videos if you want. Because I was contemplating doing like short little workout videos. But I don't know about the reception and also copyright infringements. So yeah, just throwing that out there. Did you get you a drink? Mm, not yet. Oh, you didn't get a ginger ale? Mm. Oh, what are you going to drink? No, it's Coke, but <laughs> he's a Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I'm a Coke. Okay. Yeah. So, I know he was all like, ugh, about this, but he said he would do it. He promised he would do it. So I'm making him do it against his own will. I kidnapped him. Oh, no, I just admitted to it. Oh, and Larry, Larry made a friend. That's why you haven't seen him in a, vid a couple videos. Not a girlfriend. So don't worry, if any girls got your eyes on Larry, he's still single. He's he's very available. <laughs> yes, and if you want his number, hit me up. Anyways, um <laughs> But he made a friend and it's so cute because imagine this if you will. A man in a wheelchair being pushed by a blind guy. Yes. Larry made his friend. And his friend is in a wheelchair. And the, um, he's only been in a wheelchair for a couple years. Which is kind of cool because Larry has only been blind for a few years. So, you know. And they both like to listen to music. Smokey Smokey. Ooh, speaking of Smokey Smokey. <clears throat> I'm going to take me some candy while I eat. Cause I'm I'm done for the night. <laughs> Let's see, I'm, I haven't tried this flavor yet. Hmm. That is definitely pineapple. I think I'm only doing one tonight. For your sake, I'm only gonna do one, okay? I took some candy. Oh. 
You got a ginger ale too. <laughs> Are you gonna put barbecue sauce on the Big Mac? Yeah. Okay. And. Oh. Yeah, so it's really cute. They hang out. I did the McDonald's or whatever. And we get some free time. Yay. <laughs> um. So, yeah, that's where Larry is right now. He's at his friend's house. <clears throat> okay. So, I mean, some of these questions are kind of kind of lame. It's the husband and wife tag. So, here we go. When did we meet? <laughs> I don't know the first time either. So, <laughs> it was either Circle K or at your stepdad's house. So, 2001, I can tell you that much. A very long time ago. Yes. But like I said before, I didn't even know his name until years later. Mm -hmm. The second time we met, and we just found out we may have, we could have bumped into each other again. It's so crazy because he's lived in a whole bunch of states and I've lived in a whole bunch of states. He's lived in Washington. I've lived in Washington. He's lived in Florida. I've lived in Florida. It's crazy. I've lived in California. He's lived in California. And... And then we were just talking about when Sue and Carrie almost got the Racino, and there was a big meeting. Yeah. Uh, like the whole town came, and I guess he was there too. I was there. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> the second time we met was 2017, no, 19. Eight, 19. Yeah, the beginning of 2019. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all like, it okay. feels like longer. It feels like we've been together forever, but in a good way, not a bad way. Um, oh, excuse me. What was your first opinion of me? <laughs> no, which, which first opinion, though? What was your first opinion of me when we met at Circle K slash or your stepdad's house? Probably thought I was a mute. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, crazy colored hair. Uh, cool shirt. I was like, yeah, this chick's cool. <laughs> Didn't then, say much. Then found out we were into the same music. And was like, yeah, this chick's real cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think when we met, met at Circle K, you thought I was a mute. Because I was like, mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So my first impression of you was <laughs> everything I liked in a man. Crazy hair, spiked necklace, big jinko jean. And we were watching part, or videos of music around that time. And there's one where Justin Timberlake has a whole bunch of chains off his wallet. And I was like, well, I understand where my crush on Justin Timberlake came from. Because back then, and you know, the more chains on a man's wallet, the sexier to me. <laughs> you know, and he had that big green mohawk and the crazy hats all the time. And I was like, oh, especially in this town. Because there was no one else like that in this town. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I did it in this town. <laughs> and, yeah, well, you know. I used to, I used to, go, to go to different churches with my mohawk up and my spikes still up just to, <laughs> just to see the responses. Of people. Mm -hmm. People always thought I was weird. I didn't do it for a bad reason. You're just being you. I was just being me and proving to people that you can't judge a book by its cover. Hmm. Well, he's a sweet guy, so you know, everybody was afraid of him. And then, yeah. You know, people were afraid of me too. I was where like I had my hair black with blonde streaks, which wasn't too crazy, but you know. And I always, when I wasn't working, had like, you know, lots of jewelry, black lipstick, dark eyeliner, black clothes, and people were like thinking I was some kind of freak. <laughs> but whatever, I am. What do they know? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> See, when did you know I was the one? <laughs> Three 
hours ago. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Sorry. not even sure yet. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> how long did it plan to take, or how long did it take to plan our wedding? Well, technically, what was like six months, and then we said fuck it, and we decided to just elope. Yeah, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we were planning a really big shindig, mm -hmm. but that didn't happen. Yeah. Thank God we canceled because COVID would have canceled for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I would have been pissed. I haven't even worn my wedding dress yet. It's sitting in the closet in a bag. Anyways, um, <laughs> when did we get married? <laughs> January 1st? <laughs> uh, how long have we been married? That's a dumbass question. Like, isn't that just like the first question? Um, or the last yeah. question? Let's see, what's the date? <laughs> <laughs> how many children did you want before marriage? <laughs> Zero. That's how I knew he was the one. <laughs> okay, y'all. Okay, that's how I knew you were the one. <laughs> Plus, not only you didn't want children, you didn't have children. <laughs> and for a guy your age in this town, yeah. In just mm. about any town. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> you didn't have any felonies. You were really awesome. You liked all the music I liked and even had some music that I never even heard of, which is weird. And then, see... You know, you were call I was completely honest with you about my life, and you're like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Nothing I said really freaked you out. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and there was the fact that I had a crush on you forever. So, you know, there's that too. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. What does my family think of you? They wish I would have, they wish I would have married you. Instead of the other one. <laughs> I think your family likes me. Yeah. <laughs> At least they pretend to. <laughs> um, what does my friends, my friend think of you? Well, my friends like you. Yeah, my friends like you. Not the one. He thinks that your girlfriend has a very short leash on you. Um, it yeah, was funny. Yeah. Yeah. But it was funny because he said that to his mom. And his mom replied to the friend. We won't say names. But his mom replied to the friend. Wow, who is this girlfriend? Because I feel like his wife should know about her. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay. What is my worst habit? You can be honest. I won't be mad. Mm, torrid. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is a habit, huh? <laughs> you know what I think your worst habit is? That damn chew. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that chew. <laughs> anyway, especially since it smells like liquor because it's made with ethanol. It's really weird. So weird. Um, Like, I never knew snuff had ethanol in it because I've never been with anybody who chewed. But it's better than smoking, I suppose. Cause, yeah. <clears throat> what is my best habit? Getting full. Loving me. <laughs> Aww. You're so sweet. Here, Junior, have a nugget. Anyway. Um, God, I was just... It's like, I think your best habit is just being you. <laughs> like, he is the most sweetest, caring kind person and he's so chill all the time like i'm over here having a panic attack meltdown and he's just like chill 
over here munching on french fries. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, his is his personality all the time. He like calms me down and makes me a more patient person. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, the best habit you have is being you. <laughs> um, who wears the pants in the relationship? I don't know. I don't like to wear dresses too much, so I think both of us. <laughs> I was going to say me, because most of the time you run around naked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lola. Come on, Lola. Lay down. Of a morning, at least. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> She's like, what's up, burger? Okay. <laughs> if you could get right... <laughs> If you could get rid of one thing that belongs to me, what would it be? Here, it's only fair. Mm. Hmm. hmm. That is an interesting one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All the stuff you never use. Give me that one candle holder. Which... Didn't we get rid of those? The ones That's that right. went on. We already got rid of them. <laughs> the ones that go on the wall. You mean? That's right. We, we gave got those rid to them, somebody. So... We gave those to your mom. <laughs> so, so we already we already took care of that problem. For me, it's all the stuff you don't use. Like you have the shed full and the bus full of stuff we never look at, but it's your stuff. So, what if? And I do occasionally use most of the stuff. It's just, I've got stuff that might be needed. At some point? Yeah. <clears throat> Who is the better cook? It depends on where we're cooking. Uh, and what we're cooking. I don't know, you're a pretty bomb cook? I'm a pretty bomb cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, really, it's a tie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do we argue most about? We can pretty much skip over that one, right? Um, have you ever pretended to sleep to avoid an argument? Again, we can skip over that one. Um, what was your last argument about? Another skipper. <laughs> like, swear to God, we... I don't want to jinx it or anything. I'll knock on wood. <laughs> Get over here, and I'm knocking some wood. Here we go. It kind of looks like I'm knocking on wood right there. <laughs> we, we've had maybe three, not arguments, discussion, and they're really short usually. Hey, you did this. I don't like you doing this. Can we work out some way to figure this out where we don't do this again? Okay. We talk. It's done. And we've had like three of those. Pretty much. Like, hey, when you go out fishing with your friend, could you, if you say you're going to be at home at this time, and you're not home at this time, just shoot me a text and let me know that you're going to be out later. Okay. End of that. So, um, I think the last argument we had was that one day where... Something had happened in my mom's room and I was freaking the heck out. You were hanging out with your friend and you didn't have your ringer on. Yeah. And the only thing that really happened was I was like, leave your ringer on when you hang out with your friends just in case this happens again. Okay, I'm sorry. I will do that. <laughs> Bam. Argument over. <laughs> so, knock on wood. Anyways. Um... What was the last text message I sent you? Probably a grocery list. Huh. Yeah. yeah it was a list. <laughs> okay. Either that or a meme of something like I love you. Memes <laughs> or grocery <laughs> And then you send me memes and things you want that you find on Facebook for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and replies to your text. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. Um, who is more affectionate? I don't know, man. That's like a tie, too, huh? Yeah. We're not super clingy. At times, at times we both are 
affectionate and like it's weird we're not all over each other but we are touchy feely yeah like we don't like to cuddle in our sleep so usually what we'll do is we'll hold hands because there's usually a dog in between well us. i've never been a big cuddler either i can't yeah. sleep with somebody draped over me yeah but we'll Same like here. hold hands or like hold fingers we'll like interlock our pinky like this while we sleep <laughs> or like just hold hands or he'll put his hand on my butt or i'll put my hand on his butt <laughs> and you know like we like to <laughs> hold hands a lot we like to kiss a lot you know kind of and yeah oh yeah hmm and i'm definitely not one of those that's afraid to go up behind my Go up behind my woman in the middle of a grocery store and, <laughs> and grab my butt. <laughs> and grab your butt and kiss you. And <laughs> totally done with the PDA. That's another reason I knew I liked you. Because you weren't afraid to grab my hand in public. And what was it, like five days that we were together and I met your sister and your mom and all that? <laughs> You're like five days into the relationship, and I you're just, like, hey, we're going to have dinner with my mom and my sister. I'm like, what? Um, okay. <laughs> oh, we, we're in a relationship? <laughs> and yeah, I just, I just kind of moved right in. Yep. <laughs> so, I was like, man, it, it took me five years to even meet my ex's mom. <laughs> Actually, I think it was longer. Um... Like, 15 years more like it. Okay, <clears throat> where was I? Who is the more romantic? Oh, wait. No. What is something that I enjoy doing with you? Fishing? Fishing? Uh, <laughs> That's the PG version. Yeah. <laughs> Can't answer the other one. <laughs> cooking? Oh, yes. I do like when we cook together. Yeah. Fishing? <laughs> I miss fishing. Um. Who is the more romantic one? I don't know, Mion. You got your moment. You really do. You got your moment. I think I'm a little more romantic than you. Just because I'm a Pisces. And I know that sounds like a lame reason. <laughs> I know that sounds like a lame reason, but yeah, I think... For me, I'm just an Aquarius. I know. I'm a little more romantic than you, but I'm also like a poet and all that crap, too. So, you know. Who is the funny one? Funny looking? Funny smelling? Funny what? That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's Junior. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. He's like staring down the nuggets. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Who and is he more... Keeps looking up at me like, come on, dude. Who is more outgoing? Me. That one. <laughs> he likes friends. <laughs> oh, man. I... Started talking to that one girl we knew. Again. Over there. With the beetle. You know who I'm talking about. Right? Um, Red hair. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, she's already trying to get me to come over and hang out. And it's like, I don't hang out with people. I care about people from a distance. <laughs> Anyways. I was like, if you want to come over here and listen to music and watch me work, I mean, we could totally do that. <laughs> I suck. I know. <laughs> okay. Would I prefer to stay in or go out on a Friday night? Stay in. You know, before all this, though, I would have kind of liked to go out, like, a couple er, a couple times a month. Go, go to, fishing, at least. Well, yeah, go <laughs> fishing, go out to eat, put on something yeah. fancy or pretty, you know. Once in a while. Or go to a movie. Yeah. But not... Every week. Um, have you ever lied to avoid getting in trouble with me? One yeah. time. That one time. Yeah, but <laughs> it wasn't really. It wasn't on a purpose. lie. It was a like omission. Like you just didn't think to mention it. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay though. One day I might lie too. <laughs> <laughs> um, about my weight. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I weighed myself <coughs> in front of him, and he's cool. <laughs> He doesn't freak out like my ex used to. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, have I ever gotten something for you that you didn't like? You can be honest. Um, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, one of those Mexican candies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. You did not like that when you tried to pawn it on Larry, and Larry didn't even like it. <laughs> Nobody liked it. I don't remember which one it was, though. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to say yes and no. That one pendant you got me, it was, I like amethyst, but it was wrapped in gold. I asked the dude yeah. if I could trade it next time he comes for one wrapped in silver. He said yes. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason, the only reason I got that was that was the only, the only one that style. Plus we were, it was still new. Had. Yeah. So you didn't know that I wasn't too much into gold. Yeah. But now I have some gold, so maybe I'll keep it. And, yeah, that was the only style of that that he had. What is the best gift I have ever gotten for you? Uh, <laughs> damn. That's a lot of gifts. Maybe not new when it's about to be in the mail. Or, no, but... Never mind that. That wasn't a gift. You were married yeah. with halfers yeah. on it. It's like uh, a giant uh, Z O N G. Uh, uh, my my hat collection. <laughs> you see all those hats right there. My hat collection. Most of those are rehab hats. Then there's the rehab shirts. And and then uh. It would have been those damn rehab tickets if it wouldn't have got canceled. <clears throat> Let me think. <laughs> the best gift you've ever given me is... You haven't got me a lot of, like, material gifts. But I think the best gift you're ever giving me is renewed faith in male species. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like, literally never thought I was going to meet anybody like you because I didn't think people like you existed. And I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life alone. So I think that's the best gift you've ever given me. Well, awesome. But I still have the roses you gave me dried out on top of the bathroom mirror. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, like, I love that, like, when sometimes, especially before the Rona, when you used to get me drinks and they wouldn't have ice in them, or you get me Slim Jims whenever you go get a soda from Circle K. That kind of stuff. Like, I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Anyways. And I don't even have to ask. That's the best part. Um. I just do random stuff. Uh, what is something I cannot live without? Your doggies. Oh, I thought you were going to say tour it again. <laughs> 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 Your hats. Yeah. At least one hat. I mean, they don't yeah. call you hatter for nothing. At least one hat. <laughs> you got to have at least one. I would die if I didn't have at least one hat. I, I, don't bump into that, Junior. I think you have about 30 hats right now. Yeah. Give or take, but yeah, they don't call them hatter for nothing. Use one word to describe me. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well I'm gonna use that one too. No, I'm gonna say hatter. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sexy. No. <laughs> um. Let's see. What is my best physical feature? Can you say that on YouTube? <laughs> I don't know that that um um <laughs> sexy eyes. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with the eyes. <laughs> sexy eyes from across the room. Uh, I think your best physical trait that I can say. <laughs> Um, on YouTube is your eyes. I love your eyes, and I love the way they change colors. Like, sometimes they're gray, sometimes they're green, sometimes they're blue. <laughs> you know? And I really like your hands, too, because, like, look at this. 
I don't know if you can see that. Like, his hands are so much bigger than mine, and I'm a big girl. So that's kind of awesome. For such a little dude, I've, I've got big body parts. So, like, when he holds my hand, it makes me feel tiny. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, right? Okay. Um, what's my best personality trait? <laughs> Hard to pick just um, one? No. Best personality trait. Mm -hmm. uh, kindness. Oh, well, thank you. I, for you, I'm going to have to say, I don't want to be a mockingbird and say kindness. <laughs> <laughs> but you're patient. You're so patient and sweet. Like with older people or, you know, like with me, even. How I'm not able to walk very well or do things like other people can do, but you never say anything about it. You never hold it against me. You're always helping. Yeah. You're so patient. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. And you're patient with my mom. You're patient with everybody but Junior and Larry. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, you're pretty patient with them. Yeah. They can wear on your patience yeah. pretty quickly. The only thing I don't, <laughs> the only thing I'm not patient with Larry with is uh, mumble rapping. Mumble rapping, and when, like when we go somewhere and he wants to hold on to me so to guide him. Yeah. I don't well, let him do that. But we, he doesn't like to use his stick, so he always wants to hold on to you, and like we don't let him do that. We make him use his stick, cause, you know, he's. Not gonna always have somebody to lean on. I always just guide him with my voice. Make that too. Him follow, make him follow my voice. Let's see. Who is more likely to get into a fight? Well, come on now. <laughs> Probably you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird last question. I know, right? That was the last question. That is a really is. weird last <laughs> question. <laughs> Because I've, I've never really met anybody that wanted to fight me. Except for... Pablo. Except for Pablo, but that was just I am going to have another one of these. I'm that sorry. That was just because he was jealous. And, and drunk. And drunk and... Thought... Mm, I don't know what he thought. He tried to fight you. Yeah. Hmm... He's trying to get a reaction out of you. Yeah. And you didn't give him one, and that pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the husband and wife tag. What a weird last question. I know, right? Like, where do you see yourself in five years or something would have been, like, a better question. <laughs> anyway. Right? That's a weird last question. Oh, man, that was 33 minutes, so I think we man. better let you all, if you made it this far, yay. <laughs> if you made it this far... Congratulations, you made it to the end of the Hatter Show. <laughs> and leave a comment and we'll give you a shout out. Because I've said that before in other videos. If you made it yeah. this far, leave a comment. Junior keeps bumping into the table. Leave yeah, a comment. Junior's, Junior's ready for a french fry. Or I'll Larry leave you a shout out if you'd rather. Just you know, let me know which one of us you want to leave you a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we'll do it in the beginning of a video so you know you ain't got to watch the so whole So you thing. don't got to wait. <laughs> Later. Peace out, y'all.